Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on working with marketing lists in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Marketing lists are simply lists of leads, contacts or accounts that can be created based on any number of criteria and can then be used for ad hoc communications or associated with the more detailed campaign functionality of CRM. You can watch other C-Logic videos on working with campaigns in Microsoft CRM. Just go to the C-Logic YouTube channel. OK, so let's get busy with looking at marketing lists. First go to the Marketing, Marketing Lists area and note you have the normal view where you can look up lists or filter using the view drop down. The dynamic ribbon has done its thing and changed to let us now add a new marketing list. So let's just click New. The next screen up is where we set the framework for our list. I want to build a list of leads that have a rating of warm so give it a name and select the entity of the, of the system we're going to search on in member type, in this case leads. Note that this means you cannot create mixed groups of leads and contacts. For example, but thinking a little ahead to marketing campaigns, you can associate a number of lists with one campaign. The next selection is important. A static group is one that once defined remains the same unless you manually add or remove members. You can build a static group by just selecting members based on no criteria or by defining certain criteria such as our lead rating being warm. A dynamic group is controlled by the criteria, in other words, once we define the rules such as rating equals warm, the system will return the records that satisfy that rule and we cannot manually remove records. Also, if new records are added that satisfy the criteria, then they will automatically be added to the group. I'll choose static now, but I'll come back and have a quick look at the differences when creating a dynamic group. The additional fields can be filled in if required. The source field might be filled in if you're creating a list out of some purchased data and want to report on it at a later date. And the date fields are read only and auto populated. Click save to activate the ribbon on the left hand nav bar. And now we have to add some records to our list. So either click manage members or click Marketing List Members and then Manage Members. It's the same difference. Because we're building a static group, we get these four options. The top two options are for adding members and the bottom two are used if you've come back in and are editing your list. Using the lookup allows you just to simply add members you want by looking them up and selecting one or many. These members do not comply to any set criteria. We want to apply criteria, so I'll cancel and go back to Manage Members and then select the second option of using Advanced Find. Advanced Find lets you build a group based on certain criteria, and it may be worth watching our other video on the Advanced Find functionality as it is pretty similar. First, you can edit the columns you display in the group but we'll skip that for the time being. We then want to find leads who have a warm rating and I can start by searching a pre-save view as a starting point or if left as is then we will build our own new view. Next we have to specify our criteria so we click select and choose the rating field then we make it equal to warm. It should be noted that if I was constructing a list to use in anger, I might well add in criteria such as email address contains data and allow email is set to true. Once I put in all my criteria, I can click find to see my results. Remember that because this is a static group, I can decide which of these records I want to include in my list, either some of them or all of them. In this example, we'll select all and then click add to marketing list. We can now see our members, which I can manage as required or perform actions against any selected member. The eagle eyed amongst you may have spotted that there is less in this list than there was in my search results. That's because a marketing list can only include open leads and not qualified leads. With my members saved, I can do various things like export the list to Excel, create a quick campaign, perform a mail merge against them, or add this list to a campaign. 
Now we'll quickly look at creating a dynamic group of open leads. I'll repeat the process as before, so create a new list, fill in the information, select dynamic and then save. Notice a warning is provided about a dynamic group. And now, when I manage members, I go straight to the query building area. I create my query and then have an option to use the query or find the data. We'll click Find so we can do a sanity check and notice you have no options to include or uninclude records, so we'll just click Use Query. We can see the members and we can now save our dynamic list. A last few things. If you happen to add a lead or are in an existing lead record, you can add that lead to an existing marketing list, but for obvious reasons only to a static marketing list. You can see what marketing lists a lead, contact or account is part of under marketing lists against them. Over time, things like rating may get updated by users, so if you wanted to use the same marketing list in the future, you may go back into it, click Manage Members and use the Evaluate option to update your static group. Another quick way to create a marketing list is to select records from a view, in this case some contacts. And then click Add to Marketing List. You can either add them to an existing list or click New and start from scratch when creating a new list. There is a little gotcha here in that you must create, in this case, a static contact list and you think your selected records or contacts will be pulled into your managed members. Well they aren't, but when you close the new marketing list box, your new list is now displayed in the lookup, so by selecting it, the members you originally chose will be added to this new marketing list. Well that's all there is to know about marketing lists. Remember that you can always check the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime thanks for watching this C-Logic video.